I'm back to SA2, same crew. That's where I'm Oh. We do <laughs> all live in a Pokemon what? world. What's your y'all's all favorite Pokemon? Was... We live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> we we actually live in a Joker movie. What did that one frame say? Society I... oh. Joker. <laughs> society Johto. I'm not familiar with the character of Joker. Could somebody please explain? Well, see, he has a persona. persona. <laughs> um, I was about to say, fuck. <laughs> it's an uh, enemy oh, he's Klonoa. From Pers Klonoa? Is that what you just said? Yeah. He is an enemy from Klonoa, that's right. Oh, Joker heck. is from that. Yeah, he is. Oh, man. I, 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 David, I, you played that. That's right, I played and beat Klonoa 1 and 2. For uh, the first time. Under some, under some games, he goes under Joker. Under some uh, names, he uh, under some games he goes under Joka, J O K A. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Joka. I'm the Joker baby. <laughs> is it just like Harley Quinn? It, yeah. it basically yeah. <laughs> it ties yes. in. It's all canon, I think. In the mm -hmm. Wii remake, it's a, in the Wii remake, it's flat out Joker. Oh, uh. so is the is the Wii remake um, part of the The Suicide Squad canon, and and the original Klonoa is part of. Suicide Squad canon? Yeah. Or or what how does that work? It's two worlds, David. Oh <laughs> don't <laughs> once again. I don't like Earth here we go. David, Suicide <laughs> Squad um, is a soft reboot. Uh, it's uh, uh, Oh, let's annoy I, David this part. Because there's is fun. there's classic uh -huh. Harley Quinn and then there's modern Harley Quinn. Well there I think there's a few modern Harley Quinn. And then you can make your own Harley Quinn? <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you say? I prefer classic Harley Harley Quinn. <laughs> I like I like lots of I like um, all the Harley Quinns, um, except except. I'm the also one. European, so therefore I'm not allowed to read DC comics. So Oof. what? There's plenty That's of smart, mostly... smart man. Why? This is for us, not you. <laughs> well, just just read DC until <laughs> like, like uh, they start getting bad, and then you're fine. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't sell DC comics here, so. Okay. <laughs> we'll just uh, import them in, in a little box. Have Definitely don't over. look at them online. Yeah, the internet had, doesn't have any borders. <laughs> it's right. Neither do the doctors. I I rather <laughs> read Disney Duck comics. Scrooge McDuck, Donald Duck. A man of taste, oh, I see. I mean, those are good and all, but maybe a how many times have those comics been rebooted? Um, zero times. At least, unless you at count least twice. international. Uh, <laughs> The multinational comics, like our Dutch weekly Donald Duck magazine, is probably separate from American comics. So, oh. mm. man, is is there somebody who's like put together like a definitive Duck timeline that includes every every Donald Duck? I'm sure and... MBM has in his free time. <laughs> oh man, I was gonna say like, I, I, I was actually gonna question is like who indeed is the David T. Lurker of the Scrooge McDuck fan? <laughs> the like, Donald we need to Duck find uh, that uh, lineage, <laughs> right? The Scrooge McDuckiverse. I want to know. We need who, to find been, like, their David together. and then have their D David meet our David and then not have them touch because you right. know we don't want all of existence to end, but you know <laughs> have them talk, <laughs> right? Oh man! I'm gonna guess they're Italian. Oh, yeah, they, we, they will yeah, be. Them. Yeah, that makes sense. If we do a let's play <laughs> of Quack Shot, we can have them on. Mm. We'll have a special guest, our very own resident duck genius, <laughs> duck duck <laughs> professor, and then we can put them duck. on a trial as well. Oh, this is very trial. <laughs> man, yo, there, there's a yo, there's a lot of duck lore. I, I, it's. There's a stupid amount. There are, but I, I love the fact there's so much duck lore. I love it too. Oh. I've, I've, I've seen the family tree. I've looked at it. I've gone, wow, there's a lot of ducks here. Wait, if there's a yes. David of the duck fandom, who's the Ken Penders of the duck fandom? Oh, oh no. no. Um, <laughs> Walt there's a family Disney tree himself. of and himself. ducks. Probably a, Euro probably a European writer. <laughs> right, because I think the difference is that uh, who, the person who made the duck family tree is beloved. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say, are you yeah. telling me that Ken Penders isn't beloved? Uh, it depends. David, did you, you not spend a hundred dollars <laughs> on the Laura Sue's print from Ken Penders? Not yet. Limited. No, I, I spent four hundred dollars. Oh, How could you not say you don't Why? love what? that? 
I am Why still waiting. No to that? I really want to see the Lara Sue Chronicles published. It's not there yet. <laughs> I'm, Some I'm people want chaos in this world. It, it is one of them. <laughs> Right, that's why I'm the Joker of the Sonic fandom. <laughs> Some I just men watch. just want to watch the world burn. Exactly, but I'm not the Joker uh, of the soy of a tangerine. <laughs> oh man, Knuckles! Wait, what are you what? doing here? Are you doing a 180 mm. emblem run? So that's what we're doing. And he has the shovel claw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, this this makes perfect sense. No, but what I did was I, I, I put all the checks, I go to the Chow uh, Garden a couple times, and I put it in order of when I did, so that so you don't suddenly see the Chow constantly growing growing animal parts and then missing them. Oh, you'll do that for the oh. Chow, but not for your emblems, okay. <laughs> huh. right, Sonic Movie Chow Garden. Because <laughs> the Chow are the best, and you can't, you can't... You can't give anything worse for the Chow. I mean, that is the one thing that They're two okay. has over one. The Chow system is way better. Yeah, until you try to feed them. I think it's so weird that this video game about raising babies just has this weird intermediate parts where, like, all of a sudden you have to jump up and down for, like, the animals and stuff. It's so weird. Like... It's weird that this game about raising babies has a part where the moon gets destroyed. <laughs> I just, I don't understand. <laughs> It's a well thought out <laughs> mini game, though. The, the moon breaking is what inspires the reproduction. He's gonna scratch his butt, guys. Hang on. <laughs> I'm I'm excited. I'm waiting all day for his this. His belly button is so okay, shiny. So, 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 so the, 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 that 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 uh, that past whole level is about Eggman uh, breaking back into the pyramid to go underneath the pyramid. TJ, what else is underneath something? God, uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh yeah, we're annoying David. This part. Eggman is watching oh. the news. Let's watch the news with him. I like this British broadcast of the San Francisco <laughs> event. <laughs> oh, his butt! Uh, you know what? I I really want to see the mocap footage for this game. Yeah. Yes. I want to see the person yes. who played Eggman scratch his butt. I want to see life. the person who played all the animal characters. <laughs> Sonic Adventure Two behind the scenes. Was it mocap? Yes. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see when they mocap them throwing a hedgehog out of a helicopter. Why are some? Why are some of them so <laughs> stiff? <laughs> Eggman's mouth looks so rectangle there for a second. Yeah, his face is a rectangle. They just didn't do enough with the mocap data to hide it. They just kind of used oh, it, I okay. think. But I think every 3D Sonic was mocapped up until, like, what, generations, uh, maybe? I don't Lost think that. That's I don't crazy. think Sonic Adventure was mocapped. This was, I think this was the first mocap one. I think Lost World was a little too oh, okay, stiff. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Maria! But yeah, yeah. So Sonic One, what Sonic Adventure One wasn't mocap because that, that, that was just that was just the idle and that was pretty much just yeah. The they idle just had a whole bunch of stock animation. Right. Stuff. I thought you were gonna say time. Sonic One wasn't mocapped. Yeah. <laughs> the Sonic One was mocap. They had someone run through that loop. <laughs> <laughs> they died. <laughs> I think you mean rotoscoped. Rotoscoped. Mm. Wait, how they do the mocap for Rotor. getting crushed? Rotor. No, it's See? boomer scoped. He, he's pro he promised boomer? her revenge. <laughs> But TJ, now that you know about that, though, I want you to go back and watch some Sonic 6 cutscenes and enjoy them even more. Oh my god, yes, please. Because <laughs> real people did that. <laughs> oh, someone's, someone's sins are there for us to enjoy. I'm imagining they have blank expressions on their faces as well. I want to know who, who Elise was. Yuji Naka. I want to know if they painted her legs before. You gotta play the game, uh. you gotta wait for the twist. But the intrigue is appreciated, so keep it up. The road is closed ahead. Where are you gonna- Oh, I see. You're not using the road. You're breaking <laughs> who, local Who builds a freeway like this? Laws. It's under construction. It says it right there. Dude, San Francisco is weird. Don't it's ask fine, questions. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. It's the reason no one Nothing is in place. So get, get out of your vehicle and take the rocket to exit 35. <laughs> <laughs> It'll catch up. See, people nowadays, ever since they've been drinking all of that uh, chaos soda, are just so full of energy nowadays that they, they can handle the, like, <laughs> three times the commute that they used to. If your vehicle or... hits the loop-de-loop, -loop, you went too far. No, I, I love the I love the idea that the the uh, that some some company out there it, it saw the god that 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 destroyed all of Station Square and was like, I'm gonna make a drink based off of that. Wait, hang on, did that <laughs> money to be made speed here? Speed instead yeah. of soap. Is that a license expiry issue? Well, to be fair, Mountain Dew is based off the Donner Party, oh. Code Red, and all oh. that. Wait, uh, are you are you kidding me? Perfect Mountain Dew. 
<laughs> I'm just bullshitting you, The only you, Mountain TJ. Dew uh, that's canon <laughs> is God. Baja Blast, I'm afraid. Uh, Mountain Dew Whiteout, thank you, thank you. Uh, Show oh, some respect. I've following. never drunk a Mountain Watch Dew. Out, guys, Pro there's out. a hurricane! <laughs> <laughs> and then there, 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 there's a blimp that that that, uh, that we just passed by that that says uh, got got rings. So it's like, do, do people in this world like eat and drink rings? Uh, well, no, I, I don't get why you float here. I I really don't. <laughs> the, having a blimp that says got rings in the Sonic <laughs> universe would be the same as a blimp in our universe that says have health insurance. It's just an advertising so that people don't die. Oh, Remember to breathe. Like, I like no, to imagine that there's people that exist in, in, in Sonic's world that are like, you know, our taxpayers are going to uh, catching these hedgehogs, but can we just have free health care, please? <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine a world like that? God, could you man. imagine? Kill me. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what sort of health care they do have. I mean, you get you have like. Uh, it's not Sonic like games are too political. That's that's true because the the very first game was about nature versus technology, and everyone knows uh, that those are the two political parties. <laughs> what was the insurance Meta situation for Station Square? Did those people get new living spaces? Or <laughs> they just what uh, happened there? I mean, the ones that kept up with their premiums, yes. Everyone else, uh, no. Everyone else, the insurance <laughs> company fucked over. It's realistic. Well, so I'm a. I'm assuming because there was like an that was like an unprecedented event. The whatever state that or whatever municipality that Station Square is in probably passed a law that said everyone needed flood insurance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> why why would well, they need flood insurance? They didn't so, have a flood. They were attacked by an ancient god. They need Yeah, wouldn't god that actually insurance. fall under an act of god? That's just splitting hairs. Right. Well, it's well, insurance, bro. If you're in one other industry, are they going to be splitting hairs? Well, Hmm. Well, we know that Amy Rose lived in Station Square, and in in uh, Sonic Battle, it's established that she lives in Central City, which is where we are in Sonic Adventure Two, the capital city. So, so she's presumed, in depth. right? So she moved. So it's possible that the other citizens of Station Square who did not drown were all uh, they they were all transported to Central City, and they sort of and then and then Central City got and then Central City got blown up in Shadow. Oops. Well, well, no, possibly. I thought Westopolis got blown up in Shadow. No, no, it wasn't Westopolis. It, was it was Central things. City that got uh, blown up, because that, that was, like, the level, like, that that, that was right before, uh... It, cause, no, it, 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 was, it was where, it was where the, uh, the, uh, fuck, the, uh, the, the, uh, pre president the White House was. Yeah, because the, the White House got blown up, too. Jesus. Oh, it, yeah, but... It was Central is, City. Is Central City blowing up canon? Maybe, maybe Eggman was right, guys. Maybe Sonic is a menace that needs to be destroyed. I was say, in the, <laughs> he's oh, a right. huge liability. In the Sonic universe, Los Estados Unidos have quite the uh, refugee issue, even amongst within its own borders. So every city gets blown up, and all those people got to go somewhere. Wasn't Central City evacuated? Because uh, isn't there a cut thing yeah, that says, "Oh, oh, wait, what?" <laughs> oh, and now we're playing the GBA version. <laughs> Sonic meets Shadow. Sonic meets Shadow on Game Boy Advance video. God, I think this is the uh, the Game Boy um, Advance SP. I like the Stefan. I don't think the aspect ratio. Can you adjust our audio and bit crunch it to match this? You're right. I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta go into go into post and fix it. Right, you will have to. <gasps> it's required. Then. Yeah, bit crunch our audio. I think uh, the I think the GBA aspect ratio is something like 256 uh, uh, wide and. 164 bit. It's like I'm playing Chain of Memories all over again. I love this it. This is beautiful. <laughs> I hope I sound like Duke Nukem when Stephen uploads this video. <laughs> Gamecom. Active. Wow. <laughs> it's time to play Sonic Adventure and Chew Bubblegum. But I'm all out of gum. Dun 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 dun. You should have replaced the music with the with the Sonic Advance sound song. I think he's done enough. Stephanie you should do these other things too. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I require. I, he should have recreated this entire thing. <laughs> in in Sonic, Sonic Advance. You should have just made your own Sonic game for us to LP, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, oh, why did you? I was slightly inspired by that video that somebody made where they where they took where they basically uh, made they re reenacted that cutscene in like Sonic Rush graphics. So it was like the Sonic mm. Rush to DS sprite, oh. and like they made like a shadow one, and like that was. Really, <laughs> I loved that cutscene. I'm like, I kind of want to do that, but make it worse. 
I like the subtle oh, clue of her <laughs> kicking the ground, indicating that you might have to do something with that. You just ruined the illusion by pressing pause. <laughs> is Sonic Adventure 2 best game confirmed? Wait, 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 so Skylar, oh. are you saying that, that, that this game has subtle storytelling? In are some places, Too subtle, sure. apparently. Right, like, look, that's E1000, <laughs> oh. and he murdered Rouge. Wow. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a fun LP. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all next no session. I saw the achievement. It didn't say death. It's a dark... <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. So wait, are you telling me this game has a story? Are you telling me this wait. is a game? Are you telling me this no. is? It, are you telling me? It's all allegory. It's not Are you story. telling me this? <laughs> I don't understand. Same. You can get with right. this, or you could get with that. Oh. Why is there a shark room? But this is where it's at. Because, oh man, you found some nails. There's a shark room because the Eggman is an evil genius. David, are you saying that her name was Nails the Bat? Oh, it was, wasn't it? That is true. No, that is some... Don't, Did you know? Don't nail that bat. She was also uh, originally called Shadow. Why are you guys pronouncing it wrong? It's Niles. Niles Crane. <laughs> that, that is right. And I believe <laughs> Frasier is... <laughs> Wait, would, would, is Shadow Frasier then? Like... I thought, uh, yes. I thought we had already established that <laughs> that Sonic was Alvin. That was what we had established, correct? Alvin, yeah. Simon, Theodore? Alvin, Simon, Theodore, and then Eggman is, is clearly Dave. Clearly. Right. But but so so then that would leave Shadow as Frasier uh-huh. and Rouge as Niles. Okay. <laughs> but the Shadow <laughs> still love Pockets. That would complete pockets. the Alvin and the Chipmunks uh, cinematic universe. <laughs> I, I can't wait. <laughs> Who are the Chipettes? Oh, um, a Amy, Blaze, and Marine. Uh, Amy! A or maybe not Marine, maybe it's Elise. I think Marine cream? is, um, a Care Bear. What about bear. Cream? Oh, Cream. A Care Bear? Yes, I, I think Cream is, um, uh, uh, the car from Knight Rider. Amy is clearly you space out for like 30 seconds, <laughs> and when you come back, you don't know what's happening. He man can turn invisible. Amy can turn yeah. invisible. I would like someone to translate the hieroglyphics in this level and to tell me what it says. Thank you. Uh, get on it, David. It, it That's spells your job. out Sonic Adventure 2 story. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, right, it might say, "Oh, there's only one world," and I'll be like, "Ha ha!" Yeah, well, I, knew you it. Know, we, I know, I see. I, like, one, of, one of them is a, one of them is a crane. One of them is a chow. Uh, oh wow! Uh, so, Sonic's one of them. Yes. So <laughs> I mean, nice. Those ones would just be chow and Sonic, but everything else, those are those are hieroglyphics. Well, here's the question: Were those the hieroglyphics there before or after Eggman made this his base? Uh, he could I just would, like I them for the decoration. I would say before because. Uh, the the things that Eggman does to the base, it's like, oh, I destroyed the original face and put my face on it. He's defacing it with his iconography. He didn't create hieroglyphics. He wouldn't do that. Well, he could be like, so oh, could first I'll them. raise this chow and then I'll destroy Sonic. <laughs> Yo. The text, <laughs> Yo. The text <laughs> is upside down. In between Eggman's uh, busy schedule of raising chows, he decided to invent the written language within a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he's at right now, actually. It, it, it is canon in SA1 that uh, that uh, Eggman does have a chow garden on his base. <laughs> yeah, it's been. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, been. It's been. You'll, you'll get copyright striked. Be careful. No. You sound too Fuck close. Susan. <laughs> you sound too close to being all naked bears. Wait. Huh? The old okay. naked bears. <laughs> I apologize. For that switcheroo. Why yeah, does Eggman have Canada. so many levels that are just him within his own base? Well, this isn't. Yes. This is all of his. his yeah, pretty much all of his levels are just him infiltrating. Yeah, infiltrating his own. Uh, his <laughs> own like place. Yeah. Well, this isn't yeah. his place I mean, yet. No, it's it's his now. grandpa's that was taken over by the military. He's just breaking in to take back what's his family's. Right, right, because because presumably after uh, Gun murdered all the scientists involved in Project Shadow, uh, they put some defenses here, and that's what Eggman's destroying those defenses. 
this is his first time on the Ark. Maybe he didn't know the Ark existed, or maybe he didn't know where it was. He's well, no, calling he, he, take he, you back. He, 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 he didn't. He didn't know. He didn't know the Ark existed beforehand. But it's also weird that his base has a teleporter that can send him to the Ark whenever he <laughs> well, wants. It's fine. I mean, don't worry about it. It's probably yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna, if, if I mean, if within this universe, mm -hmm. the concept of teleportation exists. Then it's not like it's not like it, it, he mm -hmm. was just like, oh, there's a teleporter that I didn't know existed in my own base. He probably ah. just like programmed it once he he like discovered the arc. This is the series that gave us the song teleportation. Yeah, shubida do yeah. That's right. That that's actually when Eggman invented teleportation. He's saying that. It also begs the question that. later. It also begs the question later. Why does he have the rocket if he doesn't actually need the rocket? He can just use the teleportation. Rocket. Well, the teleporter only can take small amounts of stuff, right? It's like it can take him, his egg walker. But if he needs to transport a lot of physical goods, he he needs a rocket. That makes he, way he, too much sense. Right. It, yeah, when he's packing these nuts, he's. Going <laughs> <to the rocket>. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, regarding oh, the no. hovering. I just Your realized, I like how this 50-year-old technology is compatible with Eggman's walker. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Well, no, it, it, no the, 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 that, that, was, that was created by... It, it, it's, it's like in Mega Man X. It's like Gerald... It's like when Eggman goes, and then the, uh, the, the, the spirit of Gerald Robotnik shows up, and he's like, Ah, my, ah, my child, I made this directly <laughs> for you. His, his great yeah, it recognizes his biometrics, and it's like, ah, a Robotnik, a man of class. <laughs> a man of class. This incredibly specific <laughs> thing. That's right. So if 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 Negative Eggman had shown up here through time travel, he could have stolen it ahead of time because of the DNA. Yes, David, Negative Eggman. Oh, wait, that's what he's called. Because Tails gets. Sure yeah. I know Tails for sure gets level up items, and I think Sonic too. So. Well, the walker mm, stages, some, 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 some uh, it's kind of interesting. Here. Yeah, just with the, the walker stages, at least, it's a lot more noticeable how more restrictive the levels are without the upgrades. Um, kind of like those first two levels, there are whole paths in the level that you cannot even, like, try to touch because you haven't gotten the uh, the shot upgrade. And that applies to Tails' walker levels, uh, too. Um, really, for like the treasure hunting levels, like once you get the the digging upgrade for either of those characters, that's kind of a, about it. I mean, all the other upgrades there are really if you want to make the final level easier for you. But like, it's kind of weird for the Walker stages how like whole parts of level are just cut off if you don't get those upgrades. Huh. Yeah. I do like that though. Oh no, it's good. It's it's great and clever. It adds depth to it. Makes the levels feel way bigger than they are. Cause then you can go back and you want to re-explore all the areas that you weren't able to before. I just, it's just kind of funny, just with how, how much more obvious it is in the walker stages. I say than in the speed and hunting stages. It, it, it is it is like the main thing that like SA two brings because I mean like SA one has like oh yeah you can go and replay the level they they have like those two because like whenever you beat the level for the first time and it gives you the C ranking but it's like instead big. instead of normal games where like it gives you a ranking C it's is big. just kind of like oh this is the C mission and then you go back and play and you play the B and the A mission this is the first Sonic game where like oh they rank you on like how good you did and you got like the A B C D E and such like that, and because they want you to, like, to go back in, if you got like a yeah, like a poor ranking, you can go replay the level to get a better ranking, and then they have all the extra missions that you can do, where it's like, oh, get get 100 rings as fast as possible, find the Chow, uh, do something else, uh, play like the hard version of the level. Go outside and have a life. Oh, what's that? So weird mission. <laughs> no. No, grind, grind Chow. <laughs> no outside, just grind Chow. I don't want to do that either. That sounds rude. Why would no, you want to grind a chow? Yes. Oh. oh no. <laughs> you can grind a chow outside. Um. It's called Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Yo. It'll tell you, like, I don't know what politics is. And you'll be like, <laughs> yeah, have another trumpet. <laughs> Yo. It's great. Uh, so, got... David, uh, yes? I got a lore question for you. Uh oh. Has, uh -oh. has, has Eggman actually ever met a Gerald? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, cause hmm. okay, I'm so, gonna assume maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe's a good answer. <laughs> um, oh, hey tails. Because oh, guys. Uh, right. So, um, we <laughs> okay. So we do know that this. So so all everything that happened with Shadow and Gerald is 50 years in the past. We don't know exactly how old 
uh, Eggman is supposed to be. However, there is a, a, a goofy little realistic drawing of Eggman uh, that it was included in the Sonic CD concept art that we've seen, and it gives him a birth year, which would, um, I think it was like, was it 1941? Which would imply that he, yeah. Eggman's supposed to be 60 in Sonic 1. Um, and if he's, you know, if he's 60 and this is 50 years ago, that means he would have been a small child. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that he ever met Gerald Robotnik. He, he certainly wouldn't have known why Gerald died, you know? Um, cause, cause everything was, was buried. All, all of the, uh, uh, Do you know the, what else the, is buried? What? <laughs> Metropolis Zone is underneath Oil Ocean Zone. I thought he was going to say these nuts. I'm not going to lie. Oh, right. I think you can put nuts under oil, but how do you build a structure under oil? I know. In part three. Uh, or the money. With the ending. Uh, <laughs> with the Anti-gravity.